Before we dive into the differences between XFC and GNOME, let's understand what a desktop environment is. A desktop environment provides you with a graphical user interface, complete with icons, toolbars, and widgets, just like you'd find in Windows. This makes navigating your Linux desktop a breeze, whether you prefer using a mouse or keyboard. Let's start with GNOME, which stands for New Network Object Model Environment. GNOME is known for its clean and minimalist approach, making it user-friendly, especially for beginners. It's fast, memory-efficient, and has a sleek dark UI style. Its interface is somewhat reminiscent of Mac, providing a productive and clutter-free environment. One of GNOME's standout features is its modular and minimal design, ensuring a clutter-free desktop experience. This, combined with faster startup times and reduced memory usage, makes it an excellent choice for those seeking a productive and clean interface. Now, let's talk about XFC. It's all about productivity and stability. With its legacy look, XFC is quick, easy to customize, and offers a streamlined experience once tailored to your liking. When it comes to design, XFC boasts the traditional menu and icon-based layout. In contrast, GNOME opts for a grid-based view, giving users different approaches to navigation and organization. Design and navigation set these desktops apart. XFC boasts the traditional menu and icon-based layout, while GNOME opts for a grid-based view. XFC provides familiar navigation for Windows users, while GNOME offers a minimalistic approach focused on productivity. XFC's layout includes a bottom, top panel, housing the application launcher, running applications, and system tray. On the other hand, GNOME simplifies application discovery and launching through its grid-based view. Customization is a powerful tool in Linux desktop environments. GNOME offers an extensive range of tools and extensions for customization. XFC, though more limited, provides ample options for tweaking themes, cursors, and more. GNOME's extension ecosystem allows for deep customization, from cursors to fonts, providing users with a wealth of options. XFC's built-in tools enable users to change themes, cursors, window decorations, and more, without the need for additional installations. Stability and performance are crucial considerations. GNOME, with its well-refined codebase, is stable and reliable. XFC, although slower to adopt new features, prioritizes stability and efficiency. In terms of resource usage, GNOME consumes around more RAM, while XFC uses less RAM. This is reflective of their design philosophies, with GNOME offering a feature-rich experience, and XFC focusing on efficiency. Accessibility is key for a user-friendly experience. GNOME leads the way with comprehensive accessibility features, catering to users with diverse needs. XFC provides basic accessibility features, including screen readers and controls for special needs users. Both desktop environments support modern hardware setups, including multiple displays and screen sharing. GNOME excels in its support for Wayland, a modern display server, while XFC is gradually catching up in this area. Looking ahead, consider long-term adoption and development principles. GNOME embraces new technology, while XFC leans towards stability and a more conservative approach. If you are planning for a 5-10 to 10 year horizon, XFC may be the better choice due to its focus on stability. GNOME, with its willingness to adapt and adopt new tech, might undergo significant UI and technical changes over that time frame. In the end, choosing between XFC and GNOME comes down to your preferences and specific needs. Which one aligns better with how you want to experience your Linux desktop? The choice ultimately depends on your priorities and preferences. So, which one resonates with you? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us in this deep dive into XFCE and GNOME. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth comparisons like this. Until next time.